my mom only had one eye i hated her she was such an embarrassment my mom ran a small shop at a flow market she collected little weeds and such to sell anything for the money we needed she was such an embarrassment there was this one day during elementary school i remember that it was field day and my mom came i was so embarrassed how could she do this to me i threw her a hateful look and ran out the next day at school your mom only has one eye and they taunted me i wished that my mom would just disappear from this world so i said to my mom mom why don't you have the other eye you are only going to make me a laughing stock why don't you just die my mom did not respond i guess i felt a little bad but at the same time it felt good to think that i had said what i would wanted to say all this time maybe it was because my mom had not punished me but i did not think that i had hurt her feelings very badly that night i woke up and went to the kitchen to get a glass of water my mom was crying there so quietly as if she was afraid that she might wake me i took a look at her and then turned away because of the things i had said to her earlier there was something pinching at me in the corner of my heart even so i hated my mother who was crying out of her one eye so i told myself that i would grow up and become successful because i hated my one eyed mom and our desperate poverty then i studied really hard i left my mother and came to seoul and studied and got accepted in the seoul university with all the confidence i had then i got married i bought a house of my own then i had kids to now i am living happily as a successful man i like it here because it is a place that does not remind me of my mom this happiness was 
getting bigger and bigger when someone unexpected came to see me what who is this it was my mother still with her own eye it felt as if the whole sky was falling apart on me my little girl ran away scared of my mom's eye and i asked her who are you i don't know you as if i tried to make that real i screamed at her how dare you come to my house and scare my daughter get out of here now and to this my mother quietly answered oh i am so sorry i may have gotten the wrong address and she disappeared thank goodness she does not recognize me i was quite relieved i told myself that i was not going to care or think about this for the rest of my life then a wave of relief came upon me one day a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house i lied to my wife saying that i was going on a business trip after the reunion i went down to the old shack that i used to call a house just out of curiosity there i found my mother fallen on the cold ground but i did not shed a single tear she had a piece of paper in her hand it was a letter to me she wrote my son i think my life has been long enough now and i want visit she all anymore but would it be too much to ask if i wanted you to come visit me once in a while i miss you so much and i was so glad when i heard you are coming for the reunion but i decided not to go to the school for you i am sorry that i only have one eye and i was an embarrassment for you you see when you were very little you got into an accident and lost your eye as a mother i could not stand watching you having to grow up with only one eye so i gave you mine i was so proud of my son that was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that i i was never upset at you for anything you did the couple times that you were angry with me i thought to myself it is because he loves me i miss the times when you were still young around me i miss you so much i love you 
you mean the world to me my world shattered i hated the person who only lived for me i cried for my mother i did not know of any way that will make up for my worst deeds moral never ever hate anyone for their disabilities never disrespect your parents don't ignore and underestimate their sacrifice they give us life they raise us better than they had been they give and keep trying to give better than they ever had they never wish unwell for their kids even in their wildest dreams they always try showing right path and being motivator parents give up all for kids forgive all mistakes made by kids there is no way to repay what they done for kids all we can do is try giving what they need and it is just time love and respect so my viewers never misbehave with your parents thank you